Okay, so this video popped up and now everybody is acting like it's the uh, best thing since sliced bread. Um, I'm going to start playing it and make my comments. Uh, I have the volume turned off on the video just so you can hear me. So, let's see what's going on here. All right. Uh, okay, so the question is, does this guy really know how to box, first of all? And uh, I would say the fact that he's acting like he's Floyd Mayweather and then throws a completely crappy jab. Now watch. He throws the jab, and then he doesn't follow up with a cross. This guy's talking about the Bagua, quote-unquote Bagua Masters, talking about how he uses Bagua footwork to avoid. Again, watch that. Oh, my God. He doesn't turn his shoulders. Look at his shoulders. Look at his hips and shoulders. Look at his hands down. Look at his chin up. So, I mean, the two examples of this that we have so far... He doesn't throw the cross, and then he doesn't throw the cross correctly, right? Let's watch it again. He throws a jab, and the guy walks away. He would walk in real life right into the cross if the guy was throwing a jab-cross combination. And he talks about how the cross, you know, the Bagua footwork is supposed to be taking him away. That's because the guy didn't do anything. And then he throws that cross. Look! It would not even land. He didn't block it, it just wasn't thrown to land. He didn't turn the hips and shoulders at all. Now he's talking about this really profound technique here, but again, the punch wasn't thrown correctly. And again, I, what, who teaches somebody to drop their left arm like that and then pop it back up? It's not like he's using that guard correctly. I, I don't think he trains boxing, I think he's just watching boxing. Okay, what, what, what was that? Let's go back. All right. I'm doing this kind of funky. But, but, but. That wasn't even an uppercut. What was that? He slows it down. Why does he slow it down? To show us how bad it was? It grazed him, but again, and again, right there. Jab, uppercut, hook. Every basic boxing person knows that combination. That hook would have hit him. Look, he's throwing the jab. Okay, the uppercut. I mean, his chin is up and his hands are down, so that's horrible boxing. But again, let's see. He would have thrown the uppercut. Where's the hook? Where's the left hook now? It would have hit him right in the back of the head, but he doesn't do anything. There, that landed. It was a horrible uppercut, and it landed. Landed. He's claiming he blocked it. He didn't block it. He landed it. Boom, you can see it. And again, if he threw the hook off the uppercut, what would happen? And so, oh, he made a big deal out of the fact that he touched his throat. Again, think about this. From that uppercut, if he had thrown that left hook like every boxer is taught to do, where would it have landed? Oh, but I touched his throat. Oh, my God, that's so deadly. I mean, how many times has the UFC that somebody's head blown up because they were touched in the throat. What? And look at that, what the hell is that? This is my personal favorite watch, coming up I think, right? It's just the one where he walks in with, yeah. He walks in with his hands down and his chin up and comes in straight. Hands down, chin up, and of course he walks into something. Where's the side-to-side -side head movement? 
hands up, chin down. Hands up, chin down, he would not be able to land that at all. But if he moved side to side, he'd be moving in off of it. That's just horrible boxing. Look at that. He slowed it down for me to prove the point. In boxing, your chin is supposed to be down, your hands are supposed to be up, and you're supposed to be moving your head. What is this? This is horrible. All right, I'm done with this. I think I should have proven my point enough.